I know many of you have been waiting for, a Mazda 46G that I'm going to repair using Chromax Pro Base Coat. Now we know from experience that this is a tricky colour and we see huge variation in model to model, car to car and even within the same car. Looking at it, you might not think that this is a three-stage finish, but actually it is. And we need that process to give us this gunmetal fine aluminium effect. So due to this variation that we see, we do of course have a number of formulations available in our colour tools. And this is one of the few times that I would recommend you take the trouble to make a spray out up front before you commit to painting the car. Once you've produced these, make sure that you check them under different light sources, including maybe a colour check light and of course natural daylight. I've got to repair the front door on the other side of this car and to be honest with you the preparation is nothing special but I am going to make sure that I use a black undercoat. So come and join me in the booth once I've done all of the preparation. I'm ready and just as importantly the car is ready, everything's prepared, my colour is mixed but all I need at this point is my black activated or hardened ground coat colour and as I've said it's a dark colour so I'm not going to need to spray a blender at this stage. Before I squeeze the trigger and start to paint, let's just take a moment to look at what we want to do. I've already said this is a three-stage process and of course I need to apply my ground coat colour to full hiding. To do that, but to restrict and keep the area as small as possible, I'm going to reduce the pressure at the gun. Brown coat colour applied, what I need to do now is dry it for, with a short bake. I've dried the ground coat colour and most importantly I've allowed the panel to cool fully before I now check for any overspray before I apply my effect coat. Now the trick with the effect coat is that we don't want to apply it to full hiding and to help me control myself during application I've placed this black and grey sticker here which will show me just what I'm doing as I'm working. What I'm going to do is apply my blender to the adjacent surrounding areas before switching to the effect colour. Now the effect colour is made up of a highly concentrated black and a very fine aluminium which in turn promotes very good hiding. That I actually don't need on this job and so that's the reason that I've put the black and grey sticker here to help me control myself as I'm working. To help with the wetting of the effect coat over the ground colour I've taken a slow setting relative to the climate conditions and what I need to do is apply a thin but closed and even coat.
the effect coat done, time to flash it off. That's everything flashed off now, but before I move on to clear, let's just take a little look here and that tip that I gave you not to spray too much effect coat and as you can clearly see yeah, it's showing through. For the rest I'm happy with the lay down and with the blend. Now I guess it's time I sprayed the clear coat. Let's take a look now the clear coat is dry. Well I've got to say that so far it looks okay in here and I'm really quite happy with that but let me carefully demask it and I'll put it outside and we'll have a good look in the sunshine. Let's look at the key points again. First make sure you take the time to produce your spray outs up front. Once you've done these view them against the car in as many different light sources as possible but most critically in daylight. The final stage of preparation is of course undercoat and just as I did here make sure that you use a black one. Activate or harden your ground coat colour and make sure that you spray to full hiding. At this stage it's not necessary to use blender but make sure that you make a smooth transition into the original and if necessary use lower pressure. Use a blender to help you with the fade out of the effect colour. Remember, you don't need to achieve full hiding with this coat, so just as I showed you, use a black and grey sticker to guide you during the application to make sure you don't over apply. To successfully do these kind of special colours, you need to work clean at all stages. So for example, if you need to change a little bit of masking, don't be afraid to do so. Follow the advice that we've given you in the video, go through the stages that we've shown you, and this is the kind of result that you'll be able to get with 46G. Thanks for watching, see you soon.